Astronomers have encountered a mysterious radio signal from the deepest parts of space. This strange signal emits continuously like a heartbeat. Scientists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States were taken aback by the clarity and frequency of the transmissions. But what could be sending this signal? Could it be the heartbeat of an alien or some kind of Morse code from an intelligent extraterrestrial civilization trying to send us a message from beyond space? Strange radio transmissions from space often spark speculation about possible alien contact. The reason is most likely because the signal is known as a fast radio burst or FRB. An FRB is a powerful blast of radio waves of unknown origin that astronomers believe originate from our Milky Way galaxy. The first FRB was identified in 2007. Hundreds of these signals have been detected by huge telescopes in various parts of the world since then. But there is something strange about this particular fast radio burst that has shocked scientists at MIT and all over the world. According to the scientists, the newly discovered FRB was particularly strange since it tended to repeat a regular pattern, similar to a beating heart. The mysterious signal, known as FRB 20191221A, lasted far longer, roughly 1,000 times longer, than the average FRB, prompting questions about what could have produced it. As of the time of making this video, this FRB is the longest lasting FRB ever identified with the most distinctive periodic pattern. At most, FRBs encountered in the past typically last a few milliseconds before fading away, but FRB 20191221A lasted up to three seconds, with radio signals recurring every 0.2 seconds in a clear periodic pattern, according to the astronomers. It was detected by a massive radio telescope called the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, or CHIME, in December 2019. The telescope is located near the city of Caledon in southwestern Canada. The program has the backing of several Canadian and American institutions. Although CHIME was initially designed to investigate radio waves emitted by hydrogen gas in distant galaxies and measure the intensity of hydrogen in the atmosphere across the universe in order to provide us with more insight into the history of its expansion, but the operators of the telescope revealed that it is also effective at picking up signals from FRBs. CHIME detected 535 new rapid radio bursts within its first year of operation. The scientists believe the signal emanated from a faraway galaxy billions of light years away. A light year refers to the distance that light travels in one year, which is approximately 9 trillion kilometers. So what could be sending these signals? Scientists are still unsure what exactly produces these FRB signals. However, astronomers believe that the signals might be coming from a kind of exceptionally compact neutron stars, high-speed spinning collapsing cores of giant stars left over after supernova explosions. A neutron star is a space entity theorized to evolve due to the gravitational collapse of a larger star that blows up towards the end of its life. Danielle Machili, who was a researcher assistant at the university's Calvi Institute of Astrophysics and Space Research and a postdoctoral researcher at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, asserts that there aren't that many entities in the cosmos that emit the type of periodic signals detected by the telescope. There are not many things in the universe that emit strictly periodic signals. Examples that we know of in our own galaxy are radio pulsars and magnetars which rotate and produce a beamed emission similar to a lighthouse. And we think this new signal could be a magnetar or a pulsar on steroids, said Daniel Machili. This prompted the researchers to think that the peculiar FRB was caused by two types of neutron stars, pulsars and magnetars. A pulsar is a neutron star that spins very rapidly. A magnetar is a sort of newborn neutron star created from the ashes of supernova explosions with a powerful magnetic field 5,000 trillion times stronger than Earth's making them the universe's most powerful magnets. Some clever cosmic detective work was carried out utilizing data from other telescopes watching the same portion of the sky. Their conclusion concerning the origin of the signal was also a result of data obtained from pulsars and magnetars discovered in our Milky Way galaxy. This led them to believe that the genesis of FRBs is a magnetar. The scientists did notice, however, that the mysterious FRB seems to be over a million times brighter than those discovered in our galaxy. The experts are baffled as to why the FRB is far brighter. 
Machili believes the dazzling flashes were caused by a distant radio magnetar or pulse or neutron that, for unexplained reasons, emitted a series of spectacular bursts within a rare three-second prime that Chime was luckily able to capture. The signal, according to the scientists, is the longest persistent and features the clearest repeating pattern of any FRBs previously recorded. Currently, they are trying to get further readings of the signal. This might assist them in understanding where it originated from and discovering more about neutron stars in general. This detection raises the question of what could cause this extreme signal that we've never seen before, and how we can use this signal to study the universe. Future telescopes promise to discover thousands of FRBs a month, and at that point, we may find many more of these periodic signals, Machili said. Astronomers have been solidifying their hypotheses in the aftermath of the discovery of the first FRB in the Milky Way in April 2020. But how did they arrive at this conclusion? To better understand this, let's look at the research conducted on FRBs in relation to magnetars and neutron stars, which are known to emit high-energy electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays and gamma rays. These two radiations erupt in short-lived bursts, and it has been theorized that radio waves might be released so that magnetars could be established as the source of FRBs. This most recent FRB, also known as FRB200428 by astronomers, was discovered to have emanated within our galaxy's constellation of Vulpecula, which just happens to be the home of the galactic magnetar SGR1935 plus 2154. It was also preceded by a burst of X-rays, which piqued scientists' interest even more. Detecting the Fascinating The first X-ray signal from that region of the sky was picked up a day before CHIME and STAIR-2 detected FRB 200428. The Neil Gorel Swift Observatory and the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope identified multiple X-ray and gamma ray bursts from SGR 1935 plus 2154 a region that was previously known to produce transitory radio pulsations. Other telescopes all over the world have also reported to have detected an X-ray burst from SGR-1935 plus 2154 around the same time the rapid radio burst was detected. The CONUS wind detector on NASA's GGS wind satellite and the Integral Space Observatory of the European Space Agency both detected an X-ray burst at exactly the same time CHIME and STAIR-2 detected the FRB. A student pieced together STAIR 2's triple radio detectors using common household items. Attention was drawn to the fixed diameter telescope in southwest China, known as the 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope, for further assessment. The massive dish telescope identified a rapid radio burst in the region of FRB200428 and pinpointed its position as SGR1935 plus 2154, confirming the link between the X-ray origin and rapid radio bursts. The latter was similar to other FRBs discovered outside our galaxy, contributing to the pile of evidence. Most FRBs come from distant galaxies. However, in 2020, the CHIME telescope detected a signal emanating from within our galaxy, the Milky Way. The same telescope also detected this mysterious signal. The sensitivity of this technology allows it to follow virtually all of the identified pulsars in the northern celestial hemisphere, which makes it incredibly effective in catching radio waves from deep within the universe. Before now, most of the FRBs that have been detected so far were singular events that only existed for a brief period of time before slipping away. In 2019, Machili noticed strange data captured by the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment and detected FRB 20191221A. It was unusual. Not only was it very long, lasting about three seconds, but there were periodic peaks that were remarkably precise, emitting every fraction of a second, boom, 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 like a heartbeat. This is the first time the signal itself is periodic, he explained. The researchers hope to find more periodic waves from the signal's origin, which they believe might be utilized as an astrophysical clock. For instance, the frequency of the bursts and how they change as the source moves away from Earth could be used to measure the rate at which the universe is expanding, according to the press release. They could be able to determine the pace at which the universe is expanding by studying the frequencies of the signals and how they vary as the source travels further away from Earth. According to the researchers, there are parallels between FRB 20191221A's radio burst and those observed in our galaxy. CHIME has now detected many FRBs with different properties. We've seen some that live inside clouds that are very turbulent, while others look like they're in clean environments. 
from the properties of this new signal, we can say that around this source, there's a cloud of plasma that must be extremely turbulent, Machili said. Machili added that the detection raises more questions about what could cause such an extreme signal that has never been seen before. Future telescopes promise to discover thousands of FRBs a month, and at that point, we may find many more of these periodic signals, he said.